Hey there, welcome to day 2184 of What You Have To Now, Sharon Hornell. I'm here documenting the journey as I originally came from the offline brick and mortar world, corporate world, to the online world. In 2017, following my divorce, I was looking for something to do, had always been curious about the internet, so I hopped on. Been playing on different aspects of the internet for a long time, but never really decided to jump on with both feet and figure out if I could make it work for me or not. And still here, but made lots and lots of mistakes that I like to share to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes I did. And then I like to share what I've learned from other people and what I'm learning and what I'm applying and what's working, what's not working. So a couple pieces of content I produce every day. I think this is my fifth year in a row of doing daily content, which uh, a lot of people don't understand, but it works for me. And if you're curious about why that is, ask because I'd be glad to share it, but everybody doesn't care. So the first piece of content is an annual challenge. I, I've always been doing annual challenge for myself for a long, long time. And following a sudden cardiac arrest in 2010, I decided that I would start sharing them with other people, my challenges. And, and as I'm doing them, I share and we grow together. So I've done, I've done literally hundreds of different challenges over the last several years in my lifetime. Uh, I've done blood pressure challenges, health challenges, physical challenges, mental, emotional, spiritual challenges, and every area and aspect of life and my life. So this year's challenge, Chad Hanna, thank you, Chad, for giving me this year's annual challenge idea again. Last year he said, let's do goals. This year he said, hey, you, a lot of us are struggling with growth. We feel like we're, we're doing okay, but we're just staying kind of stuck and stagnant. So let's make growth the focus of this year's challenge, which fits right in with what I do already, right? Supersize your business. It's about growing and scaling and and supersizing your business and personal development goals annual challenges are about developing ourselves and growing personally right continually improving always becoming a better version of our human self so today we talked about risk management I'm doing in supersize your business I've done I did idioms for about four or five years every day and I, I kind of got burnt out on them and since I've been trying to tie the annual challenge content with Supersize your business challenge, not challenge, supersize your business group content. It got a little bit redundant. And so I decided, all right, new year, I've got COVID, I'm sick, I want to do something different. So I started and I said, what are my top favorite business growth, supersizing your business strategies? And I listed those out on a piece of paper and then I asked myself, okay, well, most of these you can spend years learning. I think one is online. Uh, branding and marketing it and I'm like I've been working on that for five or six years and I still don't feel like I have it nailed so these can be super duper complicated and time-consuming depending on your skill set depending on how you go about it so let's break it down to four simple steps that we could do and if we do those four steps we can test and see if it's a strategy we want to go more in depth on if we want to really apply it to our business you know even 20 and I I'm not sure I have to decide by tomorrow what I'm gonna do after the top 20 if I'm gonna do just different business topics I think I'm gonna uh, ask the group and say hey what do you guys want to see what do you want to hear about what do you want to know what are your biggest challenges right I always ask what's your biggest challenge and how can I help what's your biggest challenge how can I help why these questions if we ask people questions, they will tell us everything we need to know to help them. If you ask yourself questions, you will know everything you need to help yourself. Ooh. So today we're talking about risk management as our four-part strategy uh, for supersize your business, how to be handled risk. Uh, you, know, you have to identify it, you have to assess it, you have to mitigate it, and then you have to, of course, monitor and continually be changing and improving based on what's going on in the, in the outside world, right? That's why we manage risk. We we set things up for our success in our business and in our life, if we're smart, right? And then today we're talking about the law of attraction as a framework for growth in this year's annual challenge, the Let's Grow annual challenge. Every day we're doing one thing to grow. And like I did last year with goals, we're spending quite a bit of January looking at different frameworks and different ways so that we can come up with our challenge growth process that we're going to use for the rest of the year. And the reason we want to do that is we want to come up with the process that we can practice and repeat enough to install in our subconscious. So going forward, every time we're in a situation where we have to make a choice or a decision about our personal growth or development or make a, a decision going forward, we will pick and choose the thing that's right for us because on a subconscious level, we will run through this process 
that we identified. That's why it's so important to look at different possible frameworks and processes and then create our own to give us the most powerful possible process that we practice all year long. All right, so that's it. That's what I'm working on. I actually got a computer. I got a new computer for Christmas and with COVID and being sick and everything and my lack of vision, literally physical vision, I uh, struggled and hadn't set it up yet. So I started setting it up yesterday and fortunately my son came to my rescue and helped me <laughs> to make significant progress in it. I got through the first couple steps and I'm like, you know, with my magnifying glass, I'm like, okay, this is crazy, but it's awesome. It's tied to my phone. I'm not using it today, but I'll start using it tomorrow. I think I'll, I'll be ready. You know, you have to change everything. You have to set up all your passwords. You have to download all your software. You need to make it, and I think they are making it more like cell phones. When you go get a new cell phone, they just transfer all the information for your old phone onto the new phone. Well, this computer kind of can do that, but I don't know how to do it, so it takes me a little longer than your average Joe to figure out how to do some of these things. So luckily, I have technologically savvy children that will pop in and give me a hand once in a while. All right, if I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic Friday. It's Friday here in my neck of the woods. Not sure what day it is for you, but have an awesome day every day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.